All right, on this problem, it uh, just may help to see that 2 has a denominator 1, because 2 is on its own, well, its own term. So it will also need a common denominator with all of the other terms in this problem, meaning that uh, the second term has an x as a denominator. Now, this term has an x as a denominator, but it's being added to 3, okay? So... Really, we should look at that denominator as a quantity, x plus 3, not x, okay? Because uh, there's a difference when we're multiplying and adding these, okay? So, what this means is that the x plus 3 needs an x as well, meaning the 2x also, we're going to have to multiply that by x. And then the 2 over 1, we're going to multiply that by x as well. So now I have a common denominator that is x for all three terms. Now, I'm not finished on that either. So now what I'm going to do is uh, these terms on the left don't have an x plus 3. So I'm going to have to multiply both of these by x plus 3. And then uh, 2 times x times x plus whoops, 3. And then I'm also going to have to multiply this x by x plus 3 as well. So I'll multiply the 3 by x plus 3. So I'm going to rewrite this so it's a little bit more legible. All right, at this point, it may be helpful also to say, well, if I multiply by 1, it's not really going to change anything there. So I can get rid of that. Just so I can see right now that all the denominators are the same, even though this x is on the right side of that x plus 3 quantity. So, since I do have common denominators, I can rewrite this entire thing without any denominators, and we've gotten rid of the fractions, all right? So, so this is now my new expression. Can you cancel out the x plus 3s? Um, I could factor it out if I wanted to, but at this point, there's no real reason. Okay. What I'm going to do is distribute a 2x into this set of parentheses which would give me 2x squared plus 6x. And then I'm going to add this to, I'll distribute that 3 as well into the parentheses, giving me 3x plus 9. And all this equals 2x squared. So from here, I just want to push all the terms onto the right side, just because I see that, well, this is going to give us one of those trinomials that we may be able to factor out some of you can see that something's going to cancel, though, and that's okay, too. So, for example, uh, and this, this cancels out this 2x squared, but it cancels this one out as well. So now I've got 0 equals 6x. Actually, I'm going to combine the x's as well. So, uh, 6x plus 3x, that's going to end up being a 9x. Sorry, that's a little sloppy there. And then uh, that would be plus this other 9. Well, now if I wanted to solve this, I would subtract 9 from both sides. I can split that. Now we'll just divide both sides by 9. And we get x is negative 1. Which we'll go ahead and go in and check. All right. So checking this thing, we had 2 plus 3 over x, but we're saying x is negative 1. And this should equal 2 times x, which, again, is negative 1. And we're going to have 1 in the denominator as well, plus 3. So this would be 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 2. Negative 1 plus 3 is also negative 2. No, 2. It's positive 2, sorry. And 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Equals negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So our answer checks off, and it does work.